Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to War on the Seas. My name's Tristan. Uh, this will be the last episode of this campaign, unless carriers or a battleship shows up. Well, a battleship, we should be able to sink in one episode. Uh, but yeah. So, next campaign I think I'm going to be doing will probably be the Mediterranean. It looks fun. And I probably won't be doing aircraft carriers right off the bat. So, <clears throat> currently our status, basically, we have our supply fleet going back to get... Convoy, sorry. Going back to get more supplies. As soon as it's up here, we're done. Uh, we just need... 150 of everything to build up the airport and finish. Um, I have two destroyers coming up to merge with the Strike Force 1. Strike Force 2 and Enterprise are still in repairs. And I'm sorry to, like, I know in the past couple episodes I've thrown away two destroyers, and before that I also threw away uh, one of our Oh, I was like, that's not right. Uh, I threw away the Portland. Uh, primarily because in total across four Task force, we have two aircraft carriers, two battleships. Well, we have a point by the second battleship, just waiting for the task force to repair, and then there will be a battleship in it, so I'm counting it. Four heavy cruisers, eight light cruisers, two, four... The 12 destroyers and no submarines. And they keep sending six destroyers at us. And I just got annoyed. I wouldn't mind if, like, basically I had a destroyer on destroyer conflict. That would be fun, but. Basically, I have a fleet. They have, let's just say, there's the Enterprise back. There's our weekly points. Um, you believe it was one second. Okay, so the savannah is still in repair. I mean, two more days, and then. Four destroyers. Um, in total, I can, what do they have left? They have all four of their carries, haven't seen them at all. They have 
three battleships, the Congo. I don't know how she's still alive. Uh, Aruma and Yamashiro. I'm going to say all the names badly. We've annihilated their heavy cruisers. They have half their... Or they have one-third of their light cruisers left. And we've sunk one-third of their destroyers. They've got... Three submarines left, and I know where two of those are. There is one somewhere over here, and one somewhere in here. Unless they've gone back to... Uh, refit. Glad to get the destroyers back because there was sight of the submarine up here when I had to go down and rearm and this thing without the two destroyers is absolutely helpless to submarine. Um, but yeah, so I am literally just waiting for this to get back up here. If I don't know if we're going to find anything to attack, to be honest, there was three destroyers that was up here. I don't know which way they went. That's when I was focusing on the battleship. Um, the Wasp was up here. I brought her down because we were actually out of range of a lot of the battleships. Uh, you need skips. All right. There's a lot of you guys now. Oh, well. I don't like they can attack us anytime soon. Probably could have done this better. Not really important, though. Okay. It's fun to watch them all go out. Kind of pretty. Manage cargo. Lies. Engineers. Well. And in two days. We won. Oh, 
Oh, they're a hell of a lot faster than that. Fishers. So I doubled up the fighters so that they would go out as far as they could. They would basically go left or right. And then they won't even meet in the middle, but they get one third out there then all covered. Here goes air cover. We might not even see anything. Oi. One light cruiser and seven DDs. I doubt it. Just realized if that had a battleship in it and can bombard enemy troop, I don't care. They could actually taken out one of the air levels, making this game go on for a lot longer. All right, uh, you're gonna die. Why don't you guys? How long is that? Okay. Moss. Actually, let's bring <clears throat> you guys up here. Now I need you guys and let's do high level. Train me immediately. Ten ships. All destroyers. Okay. Let's split your time.
There goes the alarms. Like three hits in total. Two. Don't think you're surviving. You hit seven and ten. Yeah. No fires at all on the seven. Well, okay, I'm going to give this watch be back with the next attack. Okay, so the next wave is the 24 Dauntlesses. They're attacking the front six ships. Very unsuccessfully. There we go. It looks like we've damaged two, three, five, seven, and ten so far. Uh, next we have more Avengers and B-17s coming in. Okay, so nine ships remaining. We have eight B-17s from Rennell, eight Avengers from Rennell, and eight Avengers from Guadalcanal coming in. One of you is already smoking. Hits. And we're targeting every ship except for this one. Ran out of planes. Uh, basically, each ship has two. Well, all ships other than this one have two Avengers and one B 17 after it. So this should be all the Avengers still. Oh, B-17s as well? Ooh, we lost the plane. That's everyone. What is that? 48. Out of the 50 planes we have sent in, we've lost one. And we've had numerous hits in one sink. Okay, and me being neat, I forgot to swap out the Avengers from being torpedo bombers. So we have 8, 10 Avengers from the Wasp. And 12 Dauntlesses from the Enterprise.
basically the ships along the side are the ones that I've launched the torpedoes at to hope to get the torpedoes in the center here. But I'm losing a lot of planes. Did have a hit. It's not going to hit. Unfortunate. I don't know why I was losing to. Here comes the Dauntlesses. Uh, pretty much all torpedoes missed except for one. Hit number four, which is down here. And number four sinking. Four Avengers. Damn. This is why I hate using torpedoes. Okay. So we have 24 more Dauntlesses coming in. 12 from the bow. 12 from uh, port. They are attacking these six ships. So these two are getting off stop three. Right? Well, that was a successful first strike. the wasp. Here she comes. Okay, that one's fair. You've lost control. They were barely moving. How did you move? Unfortunate boss better crews even more better.
Uh, we also have more B-17s and Avengers coming from Guadalcanal and uh, for now. I mean, this is just 10 destroyers. I'm just laying waste to them. I think that's the you going over there. I mean, I really don't want to launch all 12 Dauntlesses at a single destroyer when that's what I do with a battleship. And granted, we can, like, all 12 Dauntlesses can sink a battleship. But the difference is, is of the 12 Dauntlesses, most of them would hit the battleship. Where if I launch 12 at a destroyer, Maybe three will hit. And it's a big maybe. Okay, here is the Enterprise attacking. Uh, some of the Avengers actually were on the outskirt of the map and retreated, unfortunately. But I have a whole lot of aircraft sitting right on top of this fleet for task force. And these two. The Avengers have arrived. So again, all ships except for one are being targeted. If we can sink one more. Then we can be back with 24 if we can target sick. All sick. Even. Add some damage. Redirect hits from you guys. Two, four, one. Yeah, redirect hits in total. I'm looking at two. One is on fire, and three is on fire. B-17s carrying 12 500 pound bombs. The moping going sideways will at least hit something. Damn it. How are you guys missing this much? See them all drop. Because you two didn't.
This guy's like, I didn't want to drop sideways broadside. I'm gonna do it. Full on. Maybe not. Heck, that one. Where are you? 16. Avengers, your turn. Okay, so I had the two B-17s fall back and join one that I had in reserve, which is all three of them are now in reserve, and I have seven of the 15 Avengers coming in to attack. The other one is also in reserve, just to see if something like this happens, where I can go in and attack it. Going and like basically see which one's most critically damaged and go in and strike. Yeah, the one that we were watching last, and they basically did that, it did a massive amount of damage or flooding. Who am I supposed to be watching? Oh, miss. Heavy, heavy, critical minor, heavy, if moderate, critical, heavy, critical, heavy, 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 critical minor. Okay, I'm going to give this a watch. Two, four, and five. Two is the one that we're on that just got completely missed. So, four, five, and seven. Are any of you on fire? Oh, we're watching seven. Where did two go? I missed, probably. Um, three, five, and four. You too. Okay. Just because I can, let's get bomb. See if we can't, at least. Probably just go right over this guy, but... And you're going too far back. Didn't even launch. What a dork. Yeah, I brought you guys down to 360. Bring it down to 300. They're spread out. What's the odds of them shooting down an aircraft when they're spread out? Well. one that I want to hit. I thought you were number three. Three got me up there. Oops. Nope. So you're all basically screwed. So two, four, and seven.
like how we're sending in the lone one who's like the other two smoking. I can say the one that's smoking is the one going to get alone. That's not to go well. See, this is the problem, is it comes down to destroyers. I attack them a lot, we miss a lot, and then I get bored and I do stuff like this. And then we start losing planes. For this, we only lost like, five planes out of like 70. And yes, I get it. Attack one plane at, or one ship at a time. But who wants to do that? Okay, the banging is acorn falling from trees onto a one member. Do you think it's loud? Try sleeping through. Looking good. Not what I meant to do. Uh, this one. Go fast. Go up. Get out. survive. Where's the other two? Okay, so you guys are going to attack from the side, because I don't get another place. Another option. Um, You know, I always forget that planes can flip into each other without crashing in this game. So whenever I see it, wait one second. We want to hit you again. Probably it's going to be the best bet. And yeah, you're here, so we'll watch you. I was like, that looks nicely lined up. As long as you don't overshoot. You do not look nicely lined up. You look to be the port. Ah. 
towel. Shatter <laughs> the hell out of this fleet. That was up here. Um, Strike Force might be able to intercept them. I doubt it. So we'll try. Um, yeah, we're two hours out. Oh, I thought you were coming. You are coming back. What the hell? Is that a different one? I think that's a different fleet. Hold this. Okay, so what looks to be a light cruiser. Old destroyer, old destroyer. You're modern. Yes, at least. You're modern. Old. Now you guys are really scraping the barrel here, aren't you? You know how often it tells me that they, there's at least one light cruiser in the fleet, in the task force? And there never is. smoking. Is it worth watching you? Not really, damn it. Let's see what else we have to launch. This might turn around now though. Okay, so we had actually we actually had issues finding this fleet again. Um, the Wasp couldn't find it. T17s from Renell did though. Mm. 
should have already dropped. Probably did. Hmm? One thing I've realized too, really want to cheese this game, you don't actually have to attack. Just send in some planes, basically have them skirt their AA so that they panic and start maneuvering, and then just watch for half hour, and they will just continuously ram into each other. And do a lot of damage on their own. And then just keep having your plane occasionally skirt in there. I doubt we sunk this. I'm not really concerned. In like two game hours, the game's over. So. Okay, so the carrier, or not the carrier, the flight cruiser task force, which was up here, treated. Uh, I watched this guy come down. wasn't really concerned. I could naval battle him, but what's he going to do? Um, let's do that. We now have air five. Victory in South Pacific, 5th October, 1942. Allied forces are victorious. Pottacnell has been secured, and ha the newly constructed airfield is already playing a pivotal role in providing air security over the Salmon Islands. The loss of men and materials during the Guadalcanal campaign has taken a heavy toll on Japan's war effort. I'd say they sunk most of their fleet. Uh, the momentum of the war now swings against Japan as the Allies make plans to continue the push through the Solemn Islands as well as target new offensives across the Gilbert and Marshall Islands. Which makes me question, how come this isn't in the game? Japan's plans for a quick victory and uh, negotiated peace are beginning to unravel. So, we won. Took two months. As I said, in total we have two fleet carriers, two battleships, four heavy cruisers, eight light cruisers, and twelve um, Fletcher destroyers, not including the Guadalcanal supplies. There's two of our light cruisers there. In total, we lost Cleveland light cruiser. That was our actual thing of war. Like in battle, we lost it. Uh, we lost it, the Jenkins Fletcher class destroyer, which was my fault. That was against a submarine. And I completely forgot that the light cruiser basically i forgot that everybody would shoot at the submarine when it surfaced and i was like oh let's just ram the thing so i tried ramming it and then everybody opened fire and we basically sunk our own ship the portland heavy cruiser was basically as i said i got bored fighting Destroyers after destroyers after destroyers after destroyers. So I sent our strike force up to attack their, like to bombard their airfields during the daytime without any airfield or without any air uh, cover 
and we lost Portland. And then these two were against the last two battleships that we sunk. I mean, the Fletcher did take out a battleship, so. And then I put her in line while we were fighting the other one, and I didn't watch. I just watched this bomb the battleship. In total, we lost 262 aircraft. If you put that all as B-17s, that's 2,620 men. Plus all of this, you're probably looking at three, 4,000 men. 29,000 tons in total. Enemy losses. This is making me dizzy. Okay, we sunk 140 ships. <laughs> and the fact that we sunk both Yamato class battleships each with over 3,000 sailors means they've had more casualties. We sunk a million tons. 119 aircraft. Makes me feel a hell of a lot better about my 256 or 260 aircraft. The fact that we sunk or we shot down half of what they shot down, but we took out a lot of the ships. Over. Oh, you can't look at the other thing. Okay, and as I said, in total, I don't know where we are on destroyers. Where's my thingy image here? Capital ships, they have their four carriers that they never decided to show, uh, launch. They have the Congo, Aruma, and Yameshiro battleships. Left. I saw all the capitals. No heavies. Lights, we just battered one of them and they have six others. Of 21. Destroyers, we've sunk more than a third of them. Submarines, they have three left. Thank y'all for watching. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I'm probably going to not start the Mediterranean campaign next week, but probably the week after. I want to get caught up on videos, make sure I have a buffer for if I get sick again. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for all the advice, and I hope to see you on the next series. Have a great day, everyone.